Today I'm going to talk to you about the assisted living world and some fun facts that I discovered and thought you might be uh, interested in hearing about. So let's get into it real quick. Oh, but you know, first, by the way, just so you know, I know some of my latest videos have been in this room. You're probably wondering, like, where are you? Why are there planes on the wall and like a half of the name? But it's my it's my son's uh, room right now, so I'm I'm occupying the space because everyone's sleeping in the house, and so this is my little makeshift studio for the night. But anyways. What I'm gonna to talk to you guys about today is these fun facts that I pulled up and I think it's so interesting that I wanted to share it with you guys. So in the, in the US, there's 28,900 assisted living facilities that exist today. Uh, so this could change over the years, but as of right now, in 2019, that is the number. There's approximately one or one million licensed uh, beds uh, so if you were to take the average occupancy rate, there's probably somewhere between 800,000 and 900,000 people that are living in assisted living today. Here's the unique thing. Here's what just blows my mind when you think about it because most of you guys probably don't even realize this because this is the breakdown of the different types of assisted living facilities and their sizes. So most of the ones that you're going to be familiar with are going to be in this top 8% range. You know, the Brookdales of the world, some of your major, you know, a senior living communities that have brand recognition in all 50 states or in most of the country. And that's going to make up the, the 8%, those that are 100 beds or greater. But look at this number, 45% of assisted living facilities in the U.S. are 4 to 10 beds. That means that there could be an assisted living facility next door. There literally could be one in your neighborhood where you live today. And you may not even realize that because it may not have the appropriate signage. It may not be allowed to have signage. But the reality of it is there is a movement in the residential assisted living space that is taking place where folks can live in a truly home-like environment where you might have four to 10 people living in a smaller three-bedroom, two-bath house and that could be anywhere in, in, in whatever neighbor, neighborhood or suburb of, of, of the US. So. It's gonna depend on the state, because here in Florida, our licensed beds start at six beds, and we see a lot of six bed facilities where you might have a three bedroom, two bath house with maybe a, a, a garage conversion, and then they have six people living in that environment. In fact, the mentor, my mentor, when I first got started, that's the same setup that he had. It was a three bedroom, two bath house. They, they enclosed the garage, they built out a really nice space, and they had, it was a perfect, really, you know, just, it really felt like, you know, like home. It was amazing, it was a great environment. So, just for you guys out there, when you're thinking about this and you're thinking about hey what is the best environment for my loved one what should I choose just know that there there's so many more options out there besides those 10 big brand names like Sunrise Senior Living or 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 Brookdale or you know any of these larger you know organizations there's a lot of options out there for you um, so you're gonna see that there's you know 45%, almost half of them are smaller residential care homes. A lot, we have 11 to 25 beds, that makes up 50%, 15% of the marketplace, and 26 to 100 beds make us up 32% of the marketplace. So you might have you know, a 30 bed facility or 40 or 50 bed facility. We see that a lot. Sometimes we see more like, it's like 50 and under, uh, so like almost like 25 to 50 is kind of a range and then you might have like 6 to uh, 12 is kind of a range and then a lot of times you might have like that 80 and, and, and up or where you might have like at least somewhere between 80, 85 or 100 and up depending on the size facility. You might have some facilities that might be independent living, assisted living, memory care. Uh, you might have some facilities that might be standalone memory care. You might have some that might just be assisted living and memory care. You might have some that are just assisted living. They're all going to be a little bit different. There's, I think, 42% of the population are small owner operators. So there's just so many different varieties out there. So, but when you're considering this, make sure you take into account that there might be other alternatives for you in a smaller home-like environment that might be a great solution for your loved one. My name is Chris Chan. I'm the owner of Chelsea Place Senior Care, your host of Senior Source TV. If you haven't already, just hit the subscribe button for me. I really appreciate it. It means the world to me. If you have any questions, let me know. I'm here to help. I'd be happy to answer them. So thank you so much, and I look forward to talking to you soon. Hey, if you have any questions too, give us a call, 941-677-7233. I will talk to you soon. Have a great day.